Hey, it's Dan Nickerson. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the top and bottom banner widgets that come with the Socrates theme and in the speaker theme. Basically, it's the same framework, so they have the same widgets and templates and so forth. So this allows you to add calls to action on any page, post, category, tag, whether a user is logged in or not. You can set the visibility. You can do multiple calls to actions on any pages that you want. So it's a really powerful feature, but I don't see a lot of people using it. So I'm gonna, hoping that this video will show you how easy it is to use. So I'm going to go to the actual home page here, and you'll see that there is nothing here, and there is nothing here at the bottom of the page, right? So if I go back and I go to widgets, I want to drag a custom HTML widget to the top banner. Now I need to add some code. So well, what should I add for code? Well, if you go to our customer portal, on our, you'll see our how to create a call to action banner widget. We have all of this code. In fact, I just added some more code today before this video. So here is like an example of a uh, uh, center headline, subheadline with a call to action, right? So this is the actual code. I can go copy it like so. Go in here to the widget, drop it in, click on save. And now I go and reload. And now I have this call to action. See, it just pops right in there. There's a little bit of gap there because I probably have a little bit of a top margin. So you'll see that I have a uh, margin top of 10. I'm going to change that to zero. And I'll go reload. And now that's flush, right? So all you need to do now is go in and just edit this. So you can change it to, you know, uh, buy my ebook, right? For example. And you can drop this into a page editor too if you want to if you want to manipulate it then. Uh, but here's now it's buy my ebook. This is a subheadline. Here's a call to action. You just change the link. Simple as that. So if I want to, I can add this to a bottom banner widget as well. So I can drag this. Actually, let's do something else. I'll, I just drag it to the bottom banner. I'm going to go back here. And you see how I have this call to action here at the bottom? Well, this is actually, I give the code up here at the top. I'm gonna copy this code here. And I'm gonna go here, paste it in there, click on save. And now I reload. And there it is. So now I have this call to action at the bottom of the page. So it's, it's gonna appear on every single page of the website unless I wanna go in and make it only for all certain pages. So I can go to visibility. And I can say I only want to show this masthead thing on the front page. So I click on save and now I go to reload and it's gone. But my other call to action is right here on the bottom. So that's how that works. So you can add as many of these as you want. So if you want to just keep adding multiple, if I go to custom HTML, you know, and I want to put five different calls to actions, I can do all this, just choose choose visibility and you can either show or you can hide on certain pages. So if I only want to show to people that are logged in, show if a user is logged in. And that's it. They'll see it. So I type that message in there. <coughs> and now this is going to appear here because I'm logged in. Right? Now it wouldn't show there if I wasn't logged in. That's how that works. So we have all these different call to action samples. The big thing to remember is that typically there's a little bit of padding. So you need some padding, otherwise it's going to be flushed. And we have to do it that way so that you can add a flush background to the whole thing. Um, let me grab this one here, left headline and profile image. I'll show you what it looks like with an image in there too. Copy, paste, save, reload. And now there it is. I've got my headline, subheadline, and image. Once again, I got the little padding at the top. So I can adjust this to anything I want. I can change the background color. You know, so if I wanted to make it like a little light gray, I could do that. Get rid of the background color reload and there's a little light gray background you can add an image if you want as well so there's all kinds of things you can do with the top and bottom banner widgets and so I just want to make sure people knew about this functionality because it's so powerful if you have a Socrates team and you don't have an ad like even if you just want to put an AdSense unit you know you can go in here and just grab some simple padding to maybe so you to have a little bit of room in fact there's some basic code here this is the, the very first basic widget code that I have here and this is I'm going to paste that there. I'm going to delete this one, reload. And this is just a little tiny a, a panel box with a little button. So very simple call to action. But if you want to drop some AdSense code, you can drop it in here. If you just want to add some padding, you can do that as well. So all the short codes in Socrates will work in the top and bottom banner widgets as well. So anyhow, I hope this video was helpful. I just want to show you how to use the top and bottom banner widgets to add more call to action to your site. The more calls to actions you have, the more conversions you're going to make. And that's why you build a website in the first place. So hope this was helpful. Thanks.